Hello, in this tutorial I'll be going over how to set up the Halloween transformation mechanic that we used in this week's uh, Halloween party for Cray Jam. Um, what it will do is every 5 minutes a boolean will toggle between true and false to make avatars more dynamic uh, with the world as well. That will also be changing with the transformation uh, mechanic. Um, so if that's said, let's get started. So first we're going to need a dev tip. So I'll enable my private UI. And you want to go to Resonate Essentials, Tools, and then this first tool should appear, the dev tool. So let's point it up, double clicking it, and then this should appear. To equip it, just click on it, equip dev tool, and then there you go. So now, to equip the avatar, press Secondary, open Context Menu, open Inspector, and then this should pop up. So, now we'll go to the re root of the avatar. Select the root, the root of your avatar as well. This will lag a bit, um, as if you're okay, it's quite a heavy component. But once it's selected, click the down arrow for plus above it. And then you see a child size being created. Um, we can deselect the avatar now. Um, and then we'll go to the child slot. And you see it's just an empty object, just parented under. Uh, so we move around and still there. Position doesn't matter for this sort because we're just putting some components to dry some things in here. So we'll go attach component, uh, data, dynamic, dynamic value variable driver, boolean, and then in the variable name, type in world, capital, capital W, forward slash, full, Moon, capital M, capital F, and now we want to go touch point again. Transform drivers, um, boolean value driver, and now depending on what you want to change. So if you're driving a blend shape, use <coughs> use the float here. If you're gonna be driving scaling, like I am for the wings in this avatar. Um, you want to float 3, so boolean value driver float 3, and click that, and there we go. So we still need some more components, so we'll go back, and now we want, um, if you don't want it to smoothly transition between the states, and don't worry about this part, um, we'll just carry on from there, but we're, I'm going to add a smooth value, so it's in soon transforms, uh, drivers, smooth value, and then we want a flow 3, or just a regular float if you're just doing a blend shape. And then from here, we'll drag the target value into the target field. You see it's turned purple, and we'll drag the state into the target of the dynamic uh, variable uh, driver. You see it's turned purple too. Um, now we'll find the actual wings for the smooth value to drive. So, so uh, I'll just move to that. So the lower that value, the more slower the transition will be. There's one for now. And then I'll, so now I just want to find the bones of the slot for the wings, so we can scale them up and down. So I'll go center root, root node, armature, hips, spine, chest, and there's wings root. So then I'll grab that slot, uh, just by pressing right click or grab, and you see that has appeared above here. Then I'll point away from the inspector, press primary, and then you see that saw has appeared here. So move that to the side, and what we'll do is we'll grab the scale, and just drop that in the value here. You see the wings have disappeared. Um, one thing to note though is some uh, renderers can mess up if the, def if the off value is like zero, so, just in case, just make the value 0 0.01, you shouldn't notice any difference, but it just um, can help fix some rendering issues when it's disabled. Um, so now, I'll make the true value 111, so just type in 1, do the same for the rest, and then we go. So, that should be basically it. So, I have... The what will be in the world, which is just a type of space of world, and then type variable pool. If we enable that, you see the wings come up. And then if I disable this, the wings go down. 
And then if you want to do this like to a blend shape, of course you don't have any on this avatar, but you just do the same thing for the uh, value driver float, smooth value float, and just make, and that should be it. You don't need fully blend shape though. You don't need to worry about making it 0, 0, 0.01, you just leave it as 0 and 1. Um, yeah, and that should be it. Um, if you need more help or have any questions, feel free to ask in the Crytime Discord, which I have in the description. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy.